Look who's going back to the moon. The Indian Space Research Organization has announced plans to send a rover to the moon early next year, nearly a decade after its first lunar journey met with mixed success. The spacecraft for India's Chandrayaan-2 moon mission is comprised of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, which will first slingshot around Earth before going into lunar orbit. The lander will attempt a controlled or soft landing near the moon's south pole, while the orbiter travels around the moon. Once on the surface, the lander will take thermal measurements and deploy the six-wheeled rover to explore the lunar terrain. Among the things the mission will pay close attention to are abrasive particles known as lunar dust, which pose a significant challenge to human colonization of the moon. The Chandrayaan-2 will be carried into space by the GSLV Mark II rocket and is scheduled to launch from an island in the Bay of Bengal in March 2018. India will carry out the final testing phase for the spacecraft in the coming weeks. The program's budget for the mission is relatively small, at only $93 million. Who else is going to the moon? Private company Moon Express wins U.S. permission for moon mission. The U.S. government has granted a Florida-based company permission to launch a mission to the moon, the first time the government has allowed a company to conduct a commercial space mission beyond Earth's orbit. Cape Canaveral-based Moon Express will fly its MX-1 lander to the moon. The MX-1 is about the size of a coffee table. It will be launched sometime in 2017 on an electron rocket, a rocket currently being built by startup Rocket Lab. The MX-1 will carry a scientific and commercial payload that includes cremated human remains. It will also transmit pictures and videos of the moon back to Earth. The spacecraft is solar powered and uses hydrogen peroxide as rocket fuel. Its missions include mining for resources such as water and helium-3. It can also serve as a refueling station for other satellites. At the moment, commercial satellites have only gone as far as the geosynchronous orbit, about 22,000 miles above Earth. Only three nation states, the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China, have landed spacecraft on the moon. However, the permission granted to Moon Express does not guarantee access for other private companies to the moon. The company said its permission was a one-time deal and that all future requests will be reviewed case by case until new laws are passed. Private German moon mission to inspect Apollo 17 rover. A team of scientists in Germany has developed a lunar rover that will soon fly to the moon and visit the legendary Apollo 17 lunar rover vehicle. The rover, dubbed Audi Lunar Quattro, is made of aluminum and titanium and was created almost entirely with 3D printing technology. It is equipped with Audi's four-wheel drive technology, solar panels, rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, and science-grade high-definition cameras. Two rovers will be carried by the ALENA spacecraft, which stands for the Autonomous Landing and Navigation Module. ALENA will also carry several other payloads, including a lunar plant growth experiment. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket will likely be used to transport the rovers into space. Alina will touch down about 5 kilometers from the Apollo 17 in the Taurus Lithro Valley. After landing, the two rovers will be deployed and travel toward the Apollo 17 lunar rover. However, they are not allowed any closer than 200 meters from the Apollo rover, per NASA's request. The rovers will send live HD pictures of the Apollo rover back to Earth. The scientists are one of the 16 teams competing for the $30 million Google Lunar X prize. However, they said the ultimate goal wasn't really to win the money, but to reach the Apollo 17 rover. SpaceX to fly two tourists around the moon next year. This week, SpaceX announced bold plans to next year fly two paying passengers around the moon using technology that's still in development. In 2018, SpaceX hopes to fly two private citizens deeper into space than any human has journeyed previously. The two travelers will trek some 400,000 miles around and beyond the moon during the seven-day mission before looping back to Earth. Before training for the mission, SpaceX says each of the unnamed passengers will undergo a series of tests for their health and fitness. The passengers are set to travel aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft shot into orbit by a multi-stage Falcon Heavy rocket. 
The still-in-design rocket's first stage consists of three reusable rockets that produce half a million pounds of thrust. After separating, the central rocket propels the payload into orbit, where it continues on its voyage. SpaceX founder Elon Musk says the travelers will be trained for emergencies. However, the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which is also still being developed, will be mainly piloted autonomously. The crew can monitor real-time ship diagnostics, change the temperature, and take in views through one of the vessel's four windows. The spacecraft will conduct a flyby of the surface of the moon before traveling further out into space, where no human has gone before. It will then use the moon's gravity to slingshot back toward Earth. SpaceX hopes to launch the mission in late 2018, following a series of tests on the rocket and spacecraft. The identity of those traveling remains unknown, but one thing's for sure, they're very brave individuals indeed, and possibly also Scrooge McDuck Rich. The US and Russia are going to build an epic space base. The Deep Space Gateway. That may sound like some sort of science fiction fantasy, but it could soon be science reality. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos has signed an agreement to work on a new space station near the moon. The proximity of the Deep Space Gateway to the moon would create opportunities for lunar missions and future deep space exploration, such as missions to Mars and beyond. Space agencies from Japan, Europe and Canada are also interested in working on the project that is currently at the conceptual stage of design. Once complete, NASA says it hopes to use the base to extend the presence of humanity in the solar system. We're going back to the moon. Aerospace companies United Launch Alliance and Bigelow Aerospace are collaborating to put a space station in orbit around the moon. The Lunar Depot plan is aimed at placing a Bigelow B-330 inflatable habitat in low lunar orbit by the end of 2022. ULA's Vulcan rocket will launch the B-330 into lower Earth orbit, where it will stay for about a year. While there, the habitat will receive supplies and get crew members rotated every few months. Two more Vulcan rockets will then be launched and their upper stages left in orbit. After propellant from one stage is transferred to the other, the fully fueled stage will attach the B-330 and propel it to its final position orbiting the moon. The companies claim the habitat can serve both as a platform for lunar business development and a location for NASA to conduct exploration and astronaut training missions.